What's going down, YouTubers? I'm back with another video. This time I'm dedicating it to you guys. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you'd like to see some of my very wide array of strange videos. This one happens to be about gold, the black sand. Actually, it's iron, but we'll refer to it as black sand. Uh, so I've watched a lot of videos. Uh, I have messed with gold and this particular iron, uh, black sand, uh, in many of different ways and just trying to see how I could get it to react the best way without losing a bunch of gold and, and, Increasing my output of the gold recovery. Uh, so, I would like to show you the magnets that I use to remove uh, the black sand. One of them is a simple one that everybody's probably got around the house. And if it's not magnetic, you could shove it in the ground quite a few times with rocks and swirl it around. You know, it should get magnetic after a while. But this one happens to have been magnetic when I bought it. So, uh, we're going to use that. And that's what I used to get all of this out. You see how black that is? I understand it's in a bottle. It may have a different hue. Uh... For that reason however this is a lot darker than this why well two reasons this has a lot of gold in it this has some gold in it and the pieces are more coarse so for example oh and if you see the label on this thing excuse me I don't drink I picked it up. It's a cute little bottle for my black sand. Okay. So, anyhow. I'm not associated with them. I'm not trying to represent anything of the sort. And please, if you're an alcoholic, just get some help. And please don't become an alcoholic. It is horrible. So, uh, without further ado on that, I'm going to pour some of this out for you. You see how black that is? It still has gold in it. And some chunky pieces too, but real fine stuff. But check this out. Let's go here. Oh, let's submerge it. I mean, disturb it. Get some good stuff on there. Wait. Where's all the good stuff? I mean, it's very little. So... Let's remove it. And knock down the camera. See? Anyhow, I just removed it. Tried to put it back in there as I knocked down the camera. Uh, so, now let's go over here to this pile. Oh man, we're already getting a reaction. You ever had an et Etch-A-Sketch? Yep, that's the same stuff. So, there's a process I went to through to get it this clean. Okay. So, I'm going to take this stuff without trying to shake it everywhere. And simply take an envelope, fold it in half. so that you have a really solid crease in it for pouring. Let's just extract the rest of that. It may pick it all up. Nope, I gotta do it one more time. You see how easy that picks up? Well, why does it pick up this iron and not that iron with the same magnet? Well, 
Try not to knock over the camera again, see? This is denser. So you're only going to be able to get a specific weight for each magnet. So, for instance, you're only going to be able to pick up the same amount of weight of material with the magnet. If that makes sense. Uh, this is finer, more heavy uh, material. And it just does not pick up a lot. So, I had to make another magnet. So that I can get that fine stuff out of there because I'm tired of messing around with it. You see there's quite a bit of gold here. Quite a bit of gold. I mean, if you look, well, I don't know if you guys can actually pick up all the sparkles. But, I mean, there's definitely some good pieces of gold in there. zoom in there yeah it's kind of overcast right now and California's on fire so uh, it's pretty hazy so you may or may not actually even be able to see any gold I'll try to depict well you can see some here in the black uh, sand iron uh, so take that out of the picture this is what I've already extracted the black sands from, and I just scooped it up and put it in here. Uh, there's still some in there, so I'm going to have to wet pan it afterwards, but uh, this saves me a huge headache, because as you, you see, there's quite a bit of material here. I'd say it's about 20 buckets worth, um, and there's quite a bit of gold. And if I can, I will show you guys a picture of some sort uh, at another time showing you how much I did recover. So, the other magnet I made is, um, it's basically an electromagnet without requiring electricity. And what I mean by that is... I have taken and basically built a very small speaker okay without wires no need for wires it creates its own magnet and on top of that I added two magnets uh, very small magnets just to add a little extra oomph to grab this stuff because it's so fine and so heavy so, let's see. Can we pick up more than the screwdriver? Oh, it's already dancing. Hmm, imagine that. Wow, that is quite a mound on there. And you could just tap it, and most of it will come off. Then you just rub the rest off. That's why I have it on the balloon. So the magnet doesn't get all stuck with it. Uh, easier for removal so then you know you just lightly tap and drag and you know move the material around a little bit try not to get as much gold as possible but if you do and you don't have your finger finger oils on the balloon you can tap it a couple times and the gold will fall off and then you tap it real hard over here and clean it off still a little bit of gold going in there but that's why it is the way it is it's so fine that you're going to trap gold in it anyways I gotta pan this stuff I'm going to go ahead and pan <clears throat> this stuff as well separately because I don't want I want to jar this in a different jar for a friend a gift I'm going to th throw some gold in it same thing with this, uh, I was actually thinking about um, doing some tourist gifts uh, and just leave some gold in it. Anyhow, uh, 
that's how I extracted all of this. I mean, there's ounces and ounces of this stuff. And there's more in it, as you can see. Now, I did get the majority of it out. And I'm going to go ahead and take my fancy little card here, you know, a little something. Uh, uh, kind of like a credit card, but just real cheap and uh, already used. So I'm not going to ruin a, a good card. And I will literally just s slide it very gently, sweep it, if you will, to one side into a pile. And once I get it into a pile, I will put it in my envelope. And I will take the channel that I've created with the fold and pour it into here. So I will be panning this, this, and this separately. Three different pans. So, on your card, you're going to have some gold. You're going to have a little iron. And whatever else is in there. So make sure you just get that back into your pan. That way you're not losing a bunch. Because a little bit at a time, a little bit at a time, you just keep losing it. And I've literally watched gold float out of my pan as I'm panning it. Um, even with Jet Dry, Dawn Dish Detergent, Tide, whatever you want to use. Uh... It just, this fine stuff will float all day. Then, I mean, it doesn't really matter what you have in it. The moment you disturb it, it's floating around. And so I decided to dry it out. I just left it in my pan overnight after I drained out the water and it dried out, uh, out here in this California heat and, uh, I shook it around and started uh, getting the iron out. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you learned something from it. If not, uh, feel free to ask me some questions. Leave a comment below. Uh, you guys have a blessed day. Be safe. Wash your hands. Be kind. Truthful. And don't be a cheater or a thief. And you too can get results. So, much love, humankind. Uh, we need to do better as people. And have fun prospecting. I mean, every little chunk of gold you find is freedom. It is a great feeling. And don't take it for granted. Uh, I'd like to uh, I'd like to preach to you about you know life and things of that sort, but you know, I just want everybody to be cool, man. Stop messing up our earth. You're messing up everything for us and uh trashing certain places they're closing access to making it harder to uh, enjoy recreation so please just take care be safe be thoughtful of the next person who's going to come behind you and find what you've left so place rocks and holes that you make and just be safe. One love. I'm out.